Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch this game or if you are facing crashing and freezing issue or if you are receiving this Unity crash error. So I was receiving this error. So the first step is to re restart Steam. Simply go to Steam, click on exit and then relaunch Steam and then you can launch the game. If that does not work, restart your computer and then check. Now the next step is to switch to window mode. Now, to switch to the window mode, uh, now if you are unable to launch the game, you can just, just go to registry editor, click on yes to allow, and then go to hkey current user, expand software, and then here find team cherry, expand team cherry folder, select hollow knight silk song. Now over here, uh, you will see this screen manager full screen mode underscore some numbers you have to make a double click over here and you can set the value data to three click on ok and now you can launch the game this will launch the game in window mode So here you can see the game is launching in window mode. So now you can check. Still not working. Let me close the game. Now it's still not working. The next step is to delete the config files. Now before you delete the config file, let me inform you all the saved settings will be lost. So create a backup first. Now to delete the config files, type in registry editor once again and then click on yes to allow. And the same thing, go to HK current user software team cherry and uh, select Hollow Knight Silk Song. Now, before you uh, delete this folder, make a these are the config files. It does not have a save game files. This this is only a config file. Now, make a right click. Before you delete it, you can just create a backup. So you can just make a right click on Hollow Knight Silk Song, and then you can click on export, and then you can set the location as desktop. You can name it as backup whatever you want and then click on save over here and once you have a backup created now you can make a right click and then you can click on delete click on yes and once deleted now relaunch the game when you relaunch the game it will under team cherry again the game folder will populate so do not worry about that if you face any problem, if you want to uh, just uh, import, then in that case, uh, if you face any problem, just you can import the previous config files. You can select it and you, you can click on open and it will be added. You can restore it, but I will just delete it right now. You already have a backup, so delete it and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to rename the save game files. Now, when you rename the save game files, all the save game progress will be lost. You have to start everything from scratch. So only if you agree, you can do this and create a backup first. Now for this open file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items, then open app data folder. And then open local low folder. You, you will see team cherry folder. Open this folder. Here you can see the game folder. Create a backup. Copy this folder. Paste it to the desktop. Just create a backup. Once you have a backup created, now you can rename this folder. Now, once you rename it, the game will start from scratch. Now you can check. Still not working. The next step is to set vertical sync to 3D application settings in NVIDIA control panel. So make a right click on the desktop, go to show more option, and then click on NVIDIA control panel. Now, once NVIDIA control panel is open, now you can go to manage 3D settings over here. Click on manage 3D settings, go to program settings and then click on add. Go to the game installation. If you find the game over here, select the game and then click on add selected program. If you don't see the game in the list, click on browse and then you can go to the game installation folder. In my case, uh, it's in C drive. This is the location in my case. Select the game exe file and then click on open. And once the game is added over here, now select high performance NVIDIA processes over here and then find vertical sync. Now, if, 
if vertical sync is off or fast you can set it to use 3d application settings and then hit apply and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can set it to like on you can turn on uh, just set it to on and then you can apply the settings launch the game and then check next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option make a right click in the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then you can check still not working make a right click once again so this time you can try dash dx12 over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to set the game to play on your main monitor by changing the primary display to your first monitor so try launching the game on your primary monitor the main monitor if that does not work disconnect all the external monitor like if you have multiple monitor setup try launching the game on single monitor and then check now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so instead of launching the game from steam you can just make a right click on the game manage browse local files and then you can make a double click over here launch the game from here and then check if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab put a check on the box uh, sorry put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click over here and then launch the game if that does not work go to properties once again and this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check still not working you can even try windows 7 over here but make sure that you hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now still not working in that case you can click on change high dpi settings over here put a check over here and then click on ok hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working then click on change high dpi settings put a check over here click on ok apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then uncheck these boxes too click on ok hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to if you're using any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security go to windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the game installed in c drive open program file 686 now open the steam folder now open the steam apps folder open the common folder open the game folder select the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel do the same thing in control panel open control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then again open the game folder and then select the game exe file click on open in and then go add in my case the game is already added once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia so select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system click on start search and at the very top you will see the latest graphic card driver you can click on get download and then you can download and then you can run the exe file when you run the exe file you will see the screen click on yes to allow then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation restart you can be a restart is a must after the system restart launch the game if you have md card uninstall the current graphic card driver restart you can be a go to md website select the graphic card and then install the latest one and then restart the computer next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings over here click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here now click on the game over here select high performance now you can launch the game if you have desktop desktop users connect the display cable or hdmi cable to your dedicated graphic card 
Now, if you have any third party application running, close it. Like if you have Citrix workspace running on your computer, you can uninstall it or you can just close it. Any third party application running on your computer, including all your browsers. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running, rest close everything. Unplug external devices. So if you have any external devices which are not using like hotas, wheels, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer disconnected. Disconnect extra controller. Sometimes we have extra extra controller connected, disconnected. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make our action on the game, select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then launch the game. Now also verify the game file. So make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game. So make sure that you verify the game files. Now close all other overlay application. Like if you have discord running, you can go to discord settings, turn off of overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, you can launch Nvidia app. and if you have it running, you can go to settings and turn off this NVIDIA overlay and then check. If you have any other overlay application, close it. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application. Like if you have MSI Afterburner, Revert Unit, any kind of overclocking application running, close it. Close Overwolf. If you have OBS running, turn, uh, close it. Any third party application or services running, close it. If you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C file. Now, for this, uh, you can search in Google, install Visual C file. You can go to Microsoft, official Microsoft website, and here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19, and 22. Download this x86 and x64. Install both the files. So, click on it, and then you can run this exe file. Download it, run it. Click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. Again, click on it. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Once installed, restart your computer. And after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to power options over here in my case i have only balanced but in your case if you see this uh, like in your case you will see the power saver mode so you will see power saver mode like this so you can select power saver over here launch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance and check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to increase the virtual memory now for this type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings now under advanced click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab click on change over here now uncheck this box over here and then select custom size custom is important now over here for initial size you can try this if this does not work we can always revert back to the default now for initial size uh, you can, uh, this is one 1 1.5 multiplied total ram you can check total ram in your windows settings you can go to system and then you can go to about in my case the total ram is 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your ram so in my ram in my case my system has 16 gigabyte ram so i will co uh, convert it to megabyte 16 multiplied 1024 that is 16384 megabyte multiplied 1.5 for initial size 1.5 that is 24576, 24576. Now for maximum size, multi, uh, 3 multiplied total RAM. So in my case, total RAM is 16 multiplied 1024 megabyte multiplied 3, 49152 in my case. And then you have to click on set option. Set is important. Click on set and then click on OK. And then click on apply, click on OK, OK. Restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. If that does not work, type in view advanced system settings once again. Click on it. Click on advanced settings, advanced tab, change. This time select uh, system managed size and then click on set. Set is important. Click on OK. Click on OK. Hit apply. Click on OK. OK. You will see a restart option. Restart your computer and then check. If that does not work, we will reset to default. That is, go to view advanced system settings, settings, advanced, 
change and then we will put a check over here the way it was before and then click on ok but restart you can be run. and after the system restart you can check next step is to open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update, uh, update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game now the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.